in this video, we're going to reveal an equation that makes it very easy to calculate the pH of a buffer system provided we're in that buffer region with the ratio of conjugate acid to conjugate base between 0.1 and 10. But before we get to the equation itself, I want to point out a few things about the buffer pH calculations we've done so far. So this was the first one we did where we had a 1 to 1, 0.1 molar acetic acid acetate buffer system. And at the end of the calculation, we noted that pretty much the HA and A minus concentrations won't change by much. X in the ice table is quite small relative to the initial concentrations of HA and A minus. This led to a situation where the reaction quotient boiled down to those initial concentrations and the value of X, and that's it. And in this particular case, because the two initial concentrations of conjugate acid and conjugate base were equal to each other, they divided out, and the pH became equal to the pKa after taking the negative base 10 logarithm of the resulting X value, and X turned out to be equal to the Ka value. So we were able to just use the initial concentrations here on the equilibrium line of the ice table. In fact, something similar happened in B. We found these initial concentrations after the action of the strong base, hydroxide, 0.098 molar for HA and 0.1 molar for A minus. And then in the ensuing ice table, we were able to once again assume that the equilibrium concentrations of HA and A minus were pretty darn close to the initial concentrations. In other words, X is small relative to these initial concentrations. And so again, in the reaction quotient, we simply plugged in those initial concentrations, 0.098 and 0.1, to find the concentration of hydronium, and then the negative logarithm of that gave the pH at 4.75. So we're seeing here in both cases that the initial concentrations of the components of the buffer, HA and A minus, could be simply plugged into the reaction quotient and the negative logarithm of both sides taken to determine the pH. Let's actually stay on this slide and work through a little bit of math to generalize this idea out. So say we started with the equilibrium equation for acid dis dissociation for a buffer involving A minus and HA. And we took the negative log of both sides. What would happen if we took the negative base 10 logarithm of both sides? Well, that corresponds to the P operator on both sides, and so that would result in pKa on the left-hand side, negative base 10 logarithm of Ka. And then, thanks to the magic of logarithms, we'd have the negative base 10 logarithm of the A minus concentration divided by the HA concentration. So this just corresponds to applying the negative logarithm operator to A minus over HA built into that original reaction quotient. And the negative base 10 logarithm of the H3O plus concentration, well, that's the pH. And since that hydronium concentration is multiplying the other two, or multiplying A minus, after applying the logarithm, we've got an addition operation going on there. So the peed version, the negative logged version, of the top equation is the bottom equation. We can arrange, rearrange things a little, a little bit to arrive at a version that's going to be a little bit more convenient for us by moving this logarithm term to the other side of the equation. So I'm going to do that and actually move that side to the right and put pH on the left. And the result is that the pH of a buffer solution is equal to the pKa plus the base 10 logarithm of A minus divided by HA. This is what we call the henderson hasselbalch equation, and it makes calculating the pH of a buffer relatively easy. Now, strictly speaking, since all of this depended on the system being in equilibrium, these concentrations refer to equilibrium concentrations of A minus and HA. But as we saw in the problems and in the calculations that we've done previously, quite often when X is small relative to these initial concentrations, we can assume that these are basically equal to their initial values at equilibrium and use the henderson hasselbalch equation with given initial concentrations or concentrations derived from adding a small bit 
of strong acid or strong base, not enough to break the buffer, as we saw in the last video, to calculate the pH of the buffer system. This is a really nice shortcut for calculating buffer system pH that avoids the need to work through an ice table as we've done so far. So what the henderson hasselbalch equation allows us to do is calculate the pH of a buffer solution, which is essentially the equilibrium concentration of H3O+, from Ka for the conjugate acid, or Kb for the base in the pair, the acid concentration and the conjugate base concentration, HA and A minus molarities. And we've seen the acidic form of this equation with Ka. There's also a basic form that follows from the definition of the base ionization or basicity constant Kb. And while I won't go through the derivation of this equation, I encourage you to do so on your own. Starting from the equilibrium constant and equilibrium equation for base ionization that we've seen previously, and working toward the equation on the right, which says that the pOH of a buffer system based on a weak base B is equal to pKb for the base plus the base 10 logarithm of the conjugate acid concentration Hb plus divided by the base concentration B. Now, both of these equations only apply if the solution we're looking at is actually a buffer. So the henderson hasselbalch equation only applies when the ratio of the conjugate base to conjugate acid or conjugate acid to conjugate base is between 0.1 and 10. And the logarithm of this ratio, which is on the pH scale, is between negative 1 and 1. So this goes back to our requirement for a buffer system but the pH of a buffer system, in order to be a buffer, has to be within one pH unit of the pKa of the acid or pKb of the weak base in the buffer. And so for the acid situation, negative 1 is less than or equal to the logarithm of the A minus concentration divided by the HA concentration, which is less than or equal to 1. Between negative 1 and 1 is that logarithm of the ratio. And for a buffer based on a weak base, the logarithm of the ratio of Hb plus to B must be between negative 1 and 1. Now the henderson hasselbalch equation, as we saw, strictly applies only for concentrations of the weak acid and conjugate base at equilibrium. But as long as we're sure our solution is a buffer and the x is small approximation applies, x is small relative to the molarities, the initial molarities of the conjugate acid and conjugate base, we can assume that the equilibrium HA concentration is pretty much equal to its initial concentration, and the equilibrium concentration of A minus is pretty much equal to its initial concentration. And this makes life easy because no ice table is then required to apply the henderson hasselbalch equation. We can proceed immediately from concentrations we know, for example, from stoichiometry of HA and A minus right to a predicted pH for the buffer system.